Hey everyone, this is Boba from the Now Server. I'm here to do a video on episode 4 of Mavinogi Q&A with Bobo. Alright, let's get this party started. Anyways, uh, for those that didn't get a chance to submit their questions from the last episode and want to participate in the next episode, feel free to write in the comments below your server, uh, North American only, uh, your in-game name, and one question. Like I said, uh, I am open to answer other questions besides Mabinogi questions. I mean, it does make sense to ask Mabinogi questions since this is a Mabinogi Q&A. Um, but I am totally open to answer other questions as well. Um, so go crazy, guys. Just make sure it's appropriate. That's all I can say. All right. Anyways, let's hop right to the questions because we've got some good questions and they're pretty long. So uh, this round, I'm going to be uh, answering three questions. Um, I'm not going to say which one is the uh, favorite that I had picked. Um, I'm going to leave that for the end of the video. Um, so sit tight if you guys just want to know who the winner is. <laughs> Fast forward to the end. Uh, but let's go ahead and start with our first question now. All right. So our first question is... Boom. From Alexina, hopefully I'm saying your name correctly, um, Rotaro, uh, Ro Rotaro, 59, uh, he, he or she goes, uh, hi Bobo, what do you think if Nexon stops updating Mabinogi, then, uh, makes like a new, makes like the renew of Mabinogi or Mabinogi 2, and the story continues from present Mabinogi but all our achievements, level, skill progressions gonna have to be repeated from the beginning. It'll be a whole new game with lots of new content. And their opinion goes, I honestly got no problem with that, but deep down inside my heart, I really love present Mabby with all of my memories and experiences that I have lived and kind of would feel sad if Nexon like abandoned the old game. Uh, will you keep playing the old Mabinogi? Um, with the new game, um, will be, let's say, more or better graphics, I guess. Uh, let's see. Oh, wow, that's, a, that's, I mean, I mean, I think that was a question that a lot of people are hoping that, I guess, it's a thing that they're hoping Mabby actually does, is to make a new Mabinogi with better graphics. Um, so to answer your question, uh, I would have to say, oof. Honestly, it depends on how much I like the new game. Um, technically, Mabnogi 2 was a thing, and it was quote-unquote called Vindictus for those um, that play the game <laughs> or know of the game. Um, it was supposed to be the quote-unquote Mabnogi 2. There was actually an actual production of Mabnogi 2, but that got canceled. Um, and... I didn't stick with Vindictus, um, and that's because Mabinogi was very different from um, Vindictus. Um, now, however, if the new game is literally just like Mabinogi, same open world, uh, customizations, um, I guess, but continuation of the storyline and all it is is better graphics, ooh, I mean, I really would continue... Um, the new game especially if the old game doesn't continue updates I mean why would you play a game that doesn't have updates anymore it does kind of defeats the whole purpose of playing unless it's your only way of staying in contact with your friends um, but if they completely abandon Mabinogi and move on to a new game that would as much as hard as it is to move to a different game I might actually move to another game if Mavi stops updating at completely, but knowing Mavinogi, I don't think there is going to be any halt in updates. Um, I really do feel that they're going to keep the game going, and even if they did keep the go game going and don't have content, but they have events, and it's just like, here's an event, do this event, here's your prizes. Um, I would still be playing Mavinogi even if they have stuff like that. Um, but I would be very, very casual as I am right now. So hopefully that answers your question. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go on to our next question. Next question is from the now server, Galaxy13. And our question is, 
do you think there could be uh, there could ever be a Mabinogi tournament of sorts like a bunch of players competing for a big prize or maybe a statue like the fashion shows or something like that or maybe a tag team challenge or a team challenge I guess my question is um, do you think there could be a Mabby Olympics hmm I mean maybe that's that's a kind of good question <laughs> I mean when I think of Mabby Olympics the closest thing I can think of is the guild um, battle stuff and that's not I don't I feel like that's not really even a super active thing um, and then you got like things like fashion shows cooking contests um, people do, especially new players, do those events, um, but it's not crazy active. Now, unless they made it into an actual event for the game, I could see it happening. But they've got to make it fair. Like, I mean, maybe Olympics can't be really great with PvP. As most of you guys already know, Mabinogi PvP is like, blah. <laughs> like, nobody ever takes PvP really seriously in Mabinogi. It's definitely um, not uh, fair in terms of combat. Um, but if they did something like little mini games, um, racing, some sort of racing thing that where everyone's on the same level and equal, I think that'll be really fun. But it's really hard to manage. I think that will require a lot of Nexon managing and, you know, making that tree chart of people. And the fact that there would have to be a tree chart makes it really hard already to narrow down. Like, there's a lot of people in Mabnoki. If you guys might not think there is a lot of players, but there's, like, lots of players in the game. So to have a little tree and then, like, to just make that happen into Olympic style I think that's really, <laughs> that's a lot of work so that really depends on Nexon um, wanting to put that effort all right moving on to our last question I know it seems really fast right I'm trying to get through these questions really quick so the video is not too long so our next question is um, from the now server and hopefully I'm saying your name correctly um, blank hey thing and your question is it's a really long question. I gotta make sure I read it entirely. <clears throat> Your question is, what do you think Nexon should do to keep the game alive? I personally love the game, but I have noticed that for old players, they either still play this game or have taken breaks for it. But for those new to the game are either managing to get into it and keep at it or quitting for whatever reason, like tutorial being too complicated or the game is too slow um, or is slow and hard to understand. Many aspects can be involved in this, but it is the first one that came to mind. Another thing is that veteran players are sometimes frustrated with skill training due to the lack of AP. A good example could be the pet talent in which forces players or people to grind more AP, but get the chance to have a talent to help train skills like Kilvin Engineering or Magic Craft. Sorry if this was too confusing. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm trying to like break it down in my head. Um, so for this question, I have to, that, that's, that's really hard because like, I feel like this is a very common question a lot of people are asking. Um, a lot, I feel, and I see it a lot in almost all my Q&A questions. And this, this is actually alarming <laughs> that I see a lot of people always ask about the, the life of Mabby. Like, they're always concerned about the games. Um, like, if it's going to do well or, you know, what to keep it, you know, what, what can we do to keep it active? Um, the hard truth is to keep the game active. And nobody really knows the answer to this because if we did know the answer to this every game will be successful right <laughs> to keep the game active is really entirely uh dependent on the developers on the team that works on this game to make it interesting enough for players to play um i think that's the the hard thing about mabby is that mabby has content and it does roll out fairly once in a while um, but it's eventually it's gonna be difficult to make content it's like it's like 
making so many things in a game and then you just completely feel like you've done everything. So that's the hard part of, I guess, in you know, game developing. I'm not a game developer, so I can't really answer that question that well. <laughs> um, in terms of what can we do to keep the, what can Nexon do to keep the game alive? Because if I knew how to do that, like, like they should also know how to do that, and the game will be as it is, but it's not. Uh, so. I'm confusing myself with my words, but <laughs> anyways, um, it, I, I know it sounds harsh to say this, but in my opinion, I think it's okay if a game sucks <laughs> to the point that people become inactive. And I do, I can't agree with the fact that a lot of veterans or old players do take a break, um, and then they come back. And that happens with many other games, not just Mabinogi, but many, many other games that exist, you know, especially MMOs, um, because people don't want to waste time doing filler things. They want content. They want new story. They want new things. They want, they don't want just like, you know, filler stuff. You know, it's like you're watching an episode or a series of a movie or show, and you're watching all these filler, filler uh, episodes and they're just wasting your time. So, you know, then you get like season seven release and it has like the real good story in it and everybody's gonna have to watch that. <laughs> so it's, it's like that. It, like, it's okay if the game has its filler moments. Unfortunately, that's unavoidable in my opinion. Um, people will just have to do the healthy route and just try other games. I know it sucks. You know, people who just hardcore love Mabinogi will probably just need to take a break from the game, try another game, or, you know, I, I, th I think the hard part of it is that their friends are in Mabby and going to another game will feel like you're abandoning your friends. No, I mean, there are many, many platforms online, guys, um, that you can stay connected with your friends. I know during this um, social distancing time, it's really, really difficult to stay connected. Um, in person at least but online there are many many ways to stay connected and as long as you guys can stay connected with your friends it don't matter what game you're playing you know you guys can chat in a chat you know keep in touch with each other there's no fallout to that um, so hopefully my answer is okay but um, in terms of there, there's no I really don't think there is a solid answer to create the success of the game all you have all the company really has to do is figure out themselves what can keep the uh, players interested in playing all right anyways um, now comes down to my favorite question out of those three and I will have to say out of those three questions is I don't know, it's like tension building up favorite question is Rutaro59, very first question about a renewed Mabinogi. Thank you for ans asking that question. I love that question. Um, I actually really would like to see a new Mabinogi, just like many others. I mean, that's, I guess, that's something that keeps the community interested, right? In something. Um, so, good job on that. I'm going to send you a note. Um, be sure to reply back. You guys have, you basically have like a month to reply back. <laughs> that's, that's my limit. It's like, reply back within a month. And uh, for those that didn't get picked, do not fret. There is another episode, so we're, we're gonna do another session as well, and after that, another session. So there's always gonna be more chances to win. All right, thank you guys for watching my video, and like always, guys, please, please, please stay awesome.